welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, you guessed it, I am doing another dining room table makeover. I have an addiction and um, you guys seem to like it. So I'm gonna probably keep doing dining room tables until all of the dining room tables in the world have been made over. But this time I have an accomplice. I have infected other people with my dining room table makeoverness, and I am so happy I get to do a collaboration with another fellow creator here on YouTube. Her name is Michigan Life Mama and she does mom style content. She does a lot of cleaning videos. She does grocery shop with me's um, vlogs. She has a really nice variety of videos on her channel. So this video is a collaboration with her. She is also doing her own dining room table. So we're both doing dining room tables which, you know, I'm super excited about. Here's a little snippet of her work. <laughs> If you want to see the full reveal of her dining room table makeover, go ahead and run over to her channel. I will link it in the top of the description box below so you can check her out. I hope you all go give her channel some love. She is a super sweet person and I could not be more happy to do this collaboration with her. But without further ado, let's get into this dining room table makeover. So this is what the dining room table looked like originally. I got it off of Craigslist along with the chairs for $40. So first thing I did was just remove the cushions from the base of the chairs and I wiped them down with just some water. Next for the tabletop, I went ahead and I took my sander with an 80 grit sandpaper and just started sanding down. Now I was really careful because this is actually veneer, it's not solid wood so you have to be really careful with how much you sand down. Thankfully, all the dust remained outside. Next was staining. I went ahead and took those two stain colors. I mixed half of one and half of the other just to kind of get a gray brown restoration hardware look to it. I wiped the stain onto the wood in the same direction as the grain. Once I fully coated the wood, I just wiped off the excess with a clean rag. Once the stain dried, I went ahead and taped it all off within an inch of its life and prepared to paint it. Now this is the paint that I used. I went ahead and I did my DIY chalk paint recipe for paint sprayers. I will link the video that has the recipe for this paint mixture down in the description so you can check that out. I'll also link the paint sprayer that I use. Now using a paint sprayer definitely is easier than painting by hand, but it still takes about three to four coats to fully cover everything, just because it's a dark base and you're using white paint. Now a random side story is that I only got to paint three of the chairs. I do have four chairs. Only three of them got painted because of rain. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the video right here and um, just put a disclaimer out there. You're about to get very hot and very bothered by the next few clips. Back by popular demand, the paint peeling compilation. Yeah. 
You're welcome. <laughs> so after peeling all of the tape off, I noticed that there was some wood bleed through here. It was really hard to focus on the specific area. But I went ahead and used my trusty Zinsser shellac and coated the bleed through areas with that. I did two layers and then I painted over it with white chalk paint and it hides the stain like magic. When that was dry, I went ahead and used my water-based polycrylic all over the piece. I did one coat on the base and the chairs, and I did three coats on the tabletop. For the cushions, I used this drop cloth from Harbor Freight. is what they look like all finished. for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. I really enjoyed making over another dining room table. I know it's pretty similar to one that I've done in the past, but it's a little bit different. And this table is just a little bit more structurally sound than the last one. So the other one kind of wobbled when you used it just a little bit. It turned out super awesome. I love it. It has that perfect farmhousey feel that I'm going for. Plus I'm really excited to decorate it for the holidays. So stay tuned for all of those videos coming up. I hope this video made you laugh and I hope it inspires you. That's the two things that I really hope to do with each and every one of my videos. I hope it does that for you. Again, I'm super happy to collaborate with Nicole at Michigan Life Mama. She is super awesome and super sweet, so you guys should definitely check out her channel. Again, the direct link to her channel is in the description down in the box below. One more thing before I go, you guys, we hit 20,000 subscribers, and honestly, I can't even believe it. I am so so humbled and just so grateful for each and every one of you. I never thought that we would get this far, but yeah, you guys have made this journey so amazing and your guys' support means so much to me. I just wanna thank each and every one of you for subscribing, taking the time to watch my videos, taking the time to leave a thumbs up or comment. I know I don't usually ask for that, but when you guys do it, it really makes my day. Um, yeah. I just want to thank you guys so much. I will also be doing a giveaway next Saturday, so tune back in next Saturday for the 20k giveaway. It has a nice ring to it. I think I'll title it that. But anyway, check back next Saturday and I will post that live. I'm really excited. Hopefully you guys are excited for that too. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys all have amazing weeks and I will see you guys in the next video, as always. Bye guys!